<clears throat> is this thing on? Statutory disclaimer, opening statement, the Zone with the Destroyer show is for iguanas only. Please tail whip and claw your pet humans until they leave the room before you listen to this show, because this is not intended for lesser sorts of creatures like humans, other mammals, chickadees and other birds, frogs, fish, salamanders, snakes, snails, geckos, none of them lesser, horrible, disgusting creatures, and especially no geckos. They all gone now? All them lesser sorts? All right, then we can begin. Hey there, you're listening to the Zombo Destroyer Show. This is a podcast by an iguana for iguanas talking about important iguana stuff and issues. I am your host, Zomo, the genius, the one your parents told you to be like when you grew up. I'm sure you knew me from the comic I used to appear in Zomo the Destroyer, but if not... I don't even know what to say to you, if not. But anyways, I guess you can catch yourself up at zomaloodestroyer.com when you're done making your family disgusted by you. Anyways, hello fellow iguanas. Take a wild guess at whether or not I miffed at my monkey this week or not. Yep, shocking and unprecedented, I know. This week it's because the monkey lied to me. See, we had a deal, and she ain't living up to her end of the bargain. I mean, the deal wasn't specifically with me, but I overheard it, so I say it counts. See, she was going to get in shape this year for her New Year's resolution. It would have been splendid. She was going to try and become a triathlete by summer, so she was going to go to the pool and swim 50 laps every morning, except for Sundays. And then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, she was going to go for a run in the evenings. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, she was going to go for a bike ride in the evenings instead. And then Saturdays and Wednesdays, she was also going to be lifting weights. So I guess somewhere at the gym or something. So that was going to be awesome. Except, well, first thing, the bike thing wasn't really happening because, you know, it's cold and rainy. Well, no crap, you live in Vancouver, monkey. Of course, it's miserable outside. But still, she said, well, she'd build up to it when the weather got warmer. Then within a week, she wasn't doing the evening runs either because she was tired. Then the swimming thing didn't happen every day but only every other day. And now, less than a month later, she's only gotten her lazy monkey ass out to the pool one time this week. Damn it, monkey. Iggy wanted that time with the house to iguana self. I got stuff to do. Important iguana stuff. Stuff that doesn't involve monkeys staying home and wrecking things. So, we'll get going eventually. No, monkey, you get your ass going now. Right now. Iggy's not too big on your moping around the house eating bonbons that you won't share with Iggy. But that's okay, because I got me a cattle prod on order from eBay. And when it comes, by the great sun god himself, I'm going to get my unsupervised alone time, and that damn monkey is going to get her exercise. Well, actually, I don't really give a rat's ass if she actually gets any exercise or not. For all I care, she can go down to the Tim Hortons at the mall and stuff her face with donuts. And if she wants to sleep in some more, she can go cuddle up with the homeless dude who sleeps by the dumpster behind the 7-Eleven down the block. Just so long as Ziggy gets the house to itself at the appointed times. What is it with monkeys not being able to keep their promises anyway? Are they trying to deliberately disappoint us iguanas or are they just too dumb to have a realistic expectation of what they really will do or not anyway even without the cattle prod i did get her out to the pool this morning for her one trip this week you know it's pretty simple in some ways you stand on the back of the monkey's head assuming your sleeps on its face like mine does you jump up and down and yell until the monkey wakes up and tries to shake you off. Then you hop down on the pillow next to them. You grab a few eyelashes in each hand and you yank. See, that makes them open up their eyes. 
so then you can stare them down and order them out of the house. See, the monkey will then try to roll over and ignore you. This is fine. You just warn them that you are about to commence Operation Hair Pluck, in which you will just start randomly removing hair from the top of their head one by one until they get up. And if that means they're left with a bald spot, well, that's just a risk they're going to have to weigh against their desire to sleep in. Hmm? Usually you only need to yank about 75 hairs for them to freak out and get out of bed. I think the number might be even less for male monkeys because they're much more paranoid about bald spots. But anyways, so when you're yanking their hair out, you randomly hoot and holler and yell swear words. You got to be loud because otherwise they'll just kind of fall back to sleep. And after all, the point of this is to get them up and out of the damn house. If you just want to have fun and yank their hair out, make them look funny, well, you don't have to wake them up for that. In fact, it's better if you don't. You just start yanking while they sleep. But that's a whole other different sort of game. Now, I like to count the hairs I yank out of the monkey's head, and I yell the number at the top of my lungs. Day, today I got up to 37 before Georgie yelled stop and said, all right, all right, all right, I'm going to the goddamn pool already. So that was a victory, especially since, technically speaking, Sunday is her rest day, and she was saying she wasn't supposed to go swimming today at all. Anyway, point is, if you wigs have a monkey who won't leave the house, give it a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, my New Year's resolution, of course, is to get more beauty sleep, so, <sighs> yeah. You know where this is going. I think I've talked long enough today. And I've given you all a great project idea to play with your monkeys. Well, they won't think it's playing, but we will. <laughs> anyway, talk at you guys again next Sunday. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe on iTunes. Just search for Zumma the Destroyer. And, of course, you know, the usual qualification to that is if your pet monkey snoops your iTunes and you, we don't want them finding out about this show and what we're up to, you just go to my website, zomaludestroyer.com, and you can stream episodes there. Or you can download individual episodes there where you can hide it somewhere on, you know, put it in a folder on their hard drive that says calculus and other mathematical equations, and they'll, they'll never read it or uh, listen to it or whatever. So go subscribe or grab individual episodes. And until next time, have fun yanking. <laughs>